into the broadcast. Um, so, as most of you know, I was in Miami this weekend, and you know, there's a lot of um, there's a lot of dating and very uh, okay. I don't know how to lead into this topic, so I'm just gonna say this. I saw a lot of sugar daddies, sugar, and daddies. sugar babies in Miami this weekend, and um, what it, it didn't get me to thinking. But ironically, I saw this article <laughs> pop up on Huffington Post this week, and there was another one on the site called Creative Loafing in Atlanta that talks about sugar daddies aren't paying as much as they used to. Uh, oh. The economy's down. the economy's bad, <laughs> and sugar babies aren't making as much as they used to, which it makes me laugh because I, I got to talking with this with my friends and sugar babies rake in these are the girls sixty one thousand dollars a year okay so what do they have to do to get that sugar cash? Cash? see and this got is me thinking how product? did I miss this that like <laughs> you I went to college baby. and got a degree and I mean that most girls aren't like making this to me but most girls aren't making this out of college but, but that's what, true but what do they have to do to be a sugar right. I don't know are you what accountable what do you think? Think? What do you yeah, think? Like, what is their life coach telling yeah. them to do? They yeah. have goals. Come on. <laughs> I don't know is about this, that Is one. this besides jewelry yeah, and a lovely cash, place to or is okay, live in a nice car? car? The, the annual income of a sugar daddy in 2007, it used to be $321,000. Now in 2013, oh, that's it's $273,000. Uh. So they are spending 22% of their income, and that number hasn't really changed much, on their sugar baby. Oh. So it's kind of like wow. a why. But why do they do that when they can just, I don't know. And they <laughs> are saying the number one city for sugar daddies. Where do you think it is? Miami. Dallas. Miami. No. It's Dallas. Atlanta, uh, Georgia. Oh, Atlanta. Yeah, because it's Hotlanta. That they are saying, oh, yeah, what they're saying, if you're wondering what's so special about Atlanta, it's because they have the most college campuses per square capita really? that is overflowed oh. with broke, beautiful college co-eds. That uh, is creepy. Okay, but now are we wondering where Dallas fits in on this? Um, I believe it fits in four or five. Really? I think it was like so At um, Atlanta, Miami, um, LA, and then I think Dallas was a right. Do you know any there. of these people? Mm. Uh, I don't hang I out don't. with those girls. No, no I don't. Okay. Uh, I don't have any sugar babies. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's pretty <laughs> like. You guys, but this really got me to thinking, how does this conversation she, start she with a man? Some. Let's find you out. Yeah. Yeah, I just feel like being from California, when I came to Dallas, I noticed that around here. Oh, I mean, yeah. it was shocking to me. But how shocking. do girls get that? Like, how do you have I, that conversation with a guy? So do you want to pay my rent? Do you want to pay my car like, payment? Yeah, how does that evolve in, into that Like, how lifestyle? do you get put on the payroll? Mm -hmm. That's interesting. And do they have wives as well, or are they? I mean, like, how does She's that work? I'm not sure, I but I'm very do. intrigued because yeah. I saw a couple this weekend, and I remember thinking, I wonder. And there, the age gap is considerable, but you right. wonder how this how this conversation pops up. Well, you know what? I think it. Well, first of all, I mean, the men who do it, but for the women. You've got to not. I mean, you've got to not have much self-value to right. be able to sell yourself. Or you that value short. the wrong things. Or exactly, that's what I'm saying. Right. So self-value, meaning they don't value themselves enough that they would be, you know, be somebody's sugar baby in order to be taken care of. But essentially, of, you're getting paid to be a girlfriend. Well, I mean, so well, really, I should be mad at my boyfriends before <laughs> well, for uh, not, uh, <laughs> which is which is called for not paying my rent. Which is called what? <laughs> Prostitution, basically. Right. I mean, we're calling it a sugar daddy, sugar baby, but it's. Prostitution. It's, but it's just exclusive high. prostitution. But is it prostitution? If, if it's exclusive, yeah, yeah. you might have like five sugar babies. I wow. just think it's That's awful, expensive. anyways, to not earn your own <laughs> your to earn your own income. You yeah. know, it's like oh, I'm sure they're earning. They're but I mean, it's like I'm what's sure there's a job or two that's being no. done. No, it's not forever. It's not forever. Yeah, once you hit my age, baby, it's all over. <laughs> <laughs> Look, sugar babies retire yeah. at a certain uh, age. Yeah, and they out. sure do. But what's the difference between this and prostitution? Is there really, or are they just being, maybe, okay, I'm just going to be the devil's advocate for a second. There's a 60-year-old man who just wants a woman to travel with him and go eat dinner with him and go to the theater, and he exchanges that company for Hervé Leger dresses and Range Rovers and a black Amex card. It's no different than Pretty Woman. So are they a prostitute? His, absolutely. But what if they're not having sex? Oh, well, what if you're not having doing? sex and you're not a prostitute? It's when you, it's when it's sex involved that it becomes prostitution. It's basically just an exchange this of services, though. Yeah. Yeah. Then it's just, yeah, then it's just a service agreement. So how do you determine whether it's a prostitution or a service agreement? When sex is involved. Don't okay. agree, but there are no silence. Like, oh, weird. Don't you agree? Let's ask <laughs> if our you're a sugar daddy. Call, give us a call. <laughs> he is dying.
right oh. over there. Uh, Toss, tell yes. us. Duke wants okay, to talk about it. Okay, we're going to come back, you guys. You met him in the first hour during He Says, She Says. And we're going to come back. We're going to talk sugar babies and sugar daddies with psychic and life coach, coach Mr. Google Frazier. That's coming up.